Frank Adams. I play Ola on Shortland Street, and today you get a little glimpse of what I do. Welcome to my world. While we haven't had a lot of pregnant girls at Ferndale High, we are equipped to deal with her condition. It's not a condition. And it's none of your business. I'm a student here just like everyone else. Shortland Street well, it came about with a lot of luck. <laughs> I did drama in high school and my teacher was like, there's this audition going for a role for Robin McSneever's daughter and I didn't really think much of it because to me it was like a world away getting a part like that and so I didn't really think about it for about a week and then my two best friends, they decided that they would come along to the audition and I guess convinced me somehow to come with them and so I learnt the script on the way here and I guess I got the part. <laughs> Since my character's gone pregnant I've had to do quite a lot of crying and fighting and all that sort of stuff and like usually people get about an hour or two or something ridiculous like that to film a scene but here we only get 20 minutes so hopefully on the day it comes out well and I get a little tear or two. <laughs> So we are in the Shortland Street wardrobe department, as you can see, and these are all the different characters' wardrobes. Right, so this is my character's wardrobe. I think she wears quite different stuff to me, like this singlet. Red is one of my favourite colours. Like this jacket is red. I love it. My character is a little bit younger than me, she's 16 and she's a little bit, I guess like street style, hip. I like op shops and like vintage clothing or like Ruby Boutique or something like that, which is a little bit different. When I see you Leopard. I see what's in your mind. The bottom. Can wear it with this you. is the lovely Eden Wardray. She's my best friend and we like to hang out. And a lot. A lot. We spent a lot of our lunch times and after schools coming here, checking out the cute vintage stores and up shops and stuff. Eden, would you wear these? Absolutely. See, she's, she's way cooler than me. I quite like shorts because I'm not like a girl's girl. Yeah. I'm quite like a guy's girl, you know, like like a lot of my best friends are guys. Not you. <laughs> the thing I like about k -Rod is the vibe. There's never a dull moment on k -Rod. There's always something going on and I quite like that. Sal's pizza. We really like Sal's because it reminds us of New York. Not that we've ever been there, but I'm sure it's a lot like it. Yeah. And this is authentic New York pizza. New York. <laughs> Eden's my music teacher. I always wanted to learn an instrument and then when I met Eden, she was sort of learning guitar at the time. Whenever she learned something, I'd be like, teach me please. And so we've kind of been doing it together. Like for us, it's just, it's more about fun rather than, you know, it's just like a hobby on the side of what we do. It's not it's something a competitive thing. something while we're thing. hanging out. Yeah. Is that it? Singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. We're best friends, I would say. I think we've always been there for each other. We're both quite silly and we like to have a good time, but at the same time, we both have goals and we want to achieve them. And and they're kind of similar in a way. Yeah. And and we we like the same things, so I guess it's quite a good dynamic there. I think our personalities are quite the same. But at the same time, but we're a little bit different. Yeah, it's a good balance. Yeah. Blackbird, fly into the light of a dark black night. I would love to carry on acting if that, if that was a possibility in my life. I'd love to go overseas and give it a shot there and everything. But in saying that, I do understand that it is a very competitive industry and stuff. But I really hope that I can carry on acting because I love it. And it's really nice to come to work every day and, and love what you're doing. <laughs> 